since ancient times. Humans have felt an unexplainable urge to explore, eager to travel the world on paths they have never walked before, excited to jump out of our safe spaces into the vast unknown. The bravest turned these bold dreams into reality. And today, we're sharing with you three fascinating tales of such daring people who took on the challenge to circle the earth. Imagine a trip around the globe. Most would picture a journey along the equator. But, as our first tale unveils, not all choose that well-trodden path. Bold British explorers decided to circle the earth across the poles, facing the frozen splendor of these extreme locations. The venture was led by the tireless Sir Ranulph Fiennes. The journey began in Greenwich, London, on September 2, 1979. The route took them south along the Greenwich Meridian, through the icy wilderness of Antarctica, across the vast Pacific Ocean, and then north, through the breathtaking Americas. Their path was full of challenges as they tackled some of the planet's most brutal conditions. In Antarctica's merciless expanse, they battled treacherous terrain, freezing temperatures, and blinding snowstorms that tested their endurance. They even crossed paths with elusive polar bears, but thankfully continued their journey. Detailed preparation, constant adaptability, and unwavering determination were their companions throughout this daunting voyage. Finally, on August 29, 1982, they returned triumphant to their starting point, having journeyed an impressive 83,685 kilometers. But this transglobe expedition was not just about bravery. While traveling across the polar areas, they collected invaluable data, contributing significantly to geography, geophysics, and glaciology. The discoveries have enhanced our understanding of these remarkable regions. More than anything, the Transglobe expedition marks a historical first, being the first successful land journey to reach both poles. It stands as a beacon of the boundless human spirit, encouraging future explorers to dream big, dare more, and uncover the mysteries of our world. Many years later, in July 2007, another unique global journey began, a quest powered solely by human strength. Meet Erdan Erik, a Turkish-American adventurer who single-handedly embarked on a fearless expedition to circle the globe using only his own physical power. Shunning any motorized or wind-driven aid, he launched this ambitious adventure that would challenge the limits of human stamina. The adventure started in Bodega Bay, California. On July 10, 2007, Eric embarked on a remarkable journey, rowing across the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans. In addition to his incredible rowing feats, he also cycled across three continents, Australia, Africa, and North America. Along the way, he conquered Mount Kosciuszko in Australia, summited Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa, as a tribute to his deceased friend and fellow adventurer Goran Krop, and trekked the arduous Kokoda Track in Papua New Guinea. Spanning over five years, Aruk's journey included significant periods of downtime due to severe weather conditions, technical moments, and health conditions. This time amounts to approximately 26 months. During these breaks, he temporarily strayed from the route, only to resume his expedition precisely from the spot where he had previously halted. Eventually, on July 21, 2012, Eric made a triumphant return to the very pier where his journey had commenced in Bodega Bay, California. Riding a bicycle, he completed the remarkable full circle, marking the end of his extraordinary adventure. His journey received multiple world records, culminated in an unprecedented achievement. He became the first person to complete a solo, human-powered global journey, covering over 66,000 kilometers through rowing, cycling, kayaking, hiking, canoeing and mountaineering. Aruk's tale is a testament to the indomitable human spirit, reminding us to venture beyond the conceivable and explore our boundless potential. Now. Let's move to 2015-2016, when a captivating tale of adventure and innovation took flight. Welcome the Solar Impulse 2, 
a solar-powered aircraft that dared to dream big, embarking on a bold, round-the-world flight, powered exclusively by the sun's radiant energy. Solar Impulse 2 took off from Abu Dhabi on March 9, 2015, for its global voyage. The flight path was split into 12 stages with stops in various locations including Muscat, Ahmedabad, Varanasi, Mandalay, Chongqing, Nanjing, Hawaii, and New York. During the Nagoya-Hawaii leg, pilot Andre Borschberg made history, setting records for the longest non-stop flight and solo flight time in an electric plane. However, the ambitious expedition hit a snag when overheating batteries forced a temporary halt. The mission restarted on April 21, 2016, and concluded back in Abu Dhabi on July 26, covering an impressive distance of about 42,000 kilometers. This journey was anything but ordinary. The pilots confronted unpredictable weather conditions and tenaciously steered their course. Strategic stops for maintenance and rest were critical landmarks in their voyage. The expedition sparked a global conversation about renewable energy and carbon emission reduction. The Solar Impulse 2 became a symbol of hope and a beacon for sustainable solutions in a world seeking eco-friendly alternatives. And with that, our thrilling global journey comes to an end. Thank you for joining. Keep the spirit of exploration alive and let each day bring new discoveries. Until next time, happy trails to all.